Hi guys, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, today we're just going to have a very short live because we want to address the blatant lie that Scientology is spreading about us. And that has everything to do with trying to portray us as some anti-police movement, which we're not. So thank you so much for joining us. And this is what we would like to say. We firmly believe in the importance of law enforcement agencies and acknowledge the vital role that they play in maintaining public safety. Our concerns lie specifically with instances of corruption within the system, especially when it comes to addressing the needs of vulnerable children. We are not anti-police, but we are rather anti-corruption and advocating for a thorough examination of the issues within a certain establishment, such as the hotels or commercial buildings of Scientology, where we have observed very concerning activities involving minors. Our objective is to shed light on the plight of children who lack advocates in these situations. The evidence we have captured on camera reveals a distressing pattern reminiscent of our own experiences as children inside of these hotels. It is our firm conviction that the mistreatment and exploitation of minors are indefensible and go against the principles of justice. We want to make it clear that our actions are not an attack on law enforcement, but a plea for their intervention and investigation. We understand the limitations imposed by constitutional rights and affirm our commitment to engaging within those boundaries. We seek cooperation from the police, particularly the LAPD leadership, to address these issues responsibly. We implore the police to rise above any false characterizations and proactively investigate the concerns that we have raised. By doing so, the police can demonstrate their commitment to upholding justice protecting the vulnerable and maintaining the trust of the community they serve. Our intention is not to oppose law enforcement, but to work together towards a safer and more just society for all. So please leadership at the LAPD, listen to what we're saying, listen to what the communities are telling you all because we are doing nothing but going to the sidewalks and asking questions, which is the only right we have. And so far we're streaming every single interaction that we're having so that there are no questions that are gonna be left for y'all to, you know, pretend that we're doing something that we're not doing, pretend that there are no receipts to the concerns that are being raised. So by all means, LAPD leadership, we really hope that you start watching the streams and start watching the protest and see how your police can become more impartial to our plight. We are aware that we are at the bottom of this barrel that we are peons in comparison to very, very rich institution doing all manner of corrupt activities. So please take our police seriously and please start reviewing the patterns that have been showing up for the last four months of these protests and help us. Help us in any way you can. No one is anti-police. We need the police. The society needs police to enforce the laws. And we're not here to enforce the law. You guys are here to enforce the law. So if you can help us, that would be really, really amazing. So thank you guys so much.
for listening. And thank you, leadership at the LAPD. Hopefully this plea arrives to your ears and you can actually start some constructive conversations that can lead to everyone that is exercising their First Amendment right to feel safe about what they're doing because we deserve to exercise our First Amendment right, something that all kids in Scientology Hotels told, were told that they didn't have. So we do have those rights and we are aware of that. We were brought from other countries, so we never studied the constitution and we didn't understand what a First Amendment right was, but we do know what it means today. So please ensure that we're not getting beat up please ensure that you talk to your Scientology connections and let them know that you are here to also help us exercise our right. And please help us advocate for the kids that are stuck inside the hotels because those are the ones that need the most advocacy from all of us. We literally are begging on our knees that you guys start actually helping us and not just doing everything that we see on the public record that's been going on for the last months. So we hope that we can have some productive conversations so we are allowed to actually have the First Amendment right, which was something that you guys did sworn an oath to. And we believe there's plenty of people in your department that understand as parents of children that there is no world where anyone wants to see children suffering. So hopefully we can get some agreement around that and hopefully we can start getting some help and stop getting beat up because we don't deserve that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye-bye.